Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Sleepless Ninja. Today I'm going to show you how to root your Zoom. Couple things. Please watch this video once. Don't just root your Zoom while watching this video for the first time. Another thing, there is some glare on my laptop. I apologize. I'm going to be writing everything that I type as text overlaid on the video so you can fully see everything as well as there'll be text steps attached to the video. Although this is a video tutorial, that does not mean that this is easy. And I'm still assuming some knowledge upon the user and the viewer to be able to know what I am exactly doing in the command prompt and the terminal. So this is not really an ABC tutorial. And if you don't understand it, maybe you should not be rooting your device. This is for the Wi-Fi Zoom only, so if you have a 3G Zoom, check out my video channel or my blog site for the video version. All these steps are coming from the XDA Developers Forum. Definitely check them out. They are an amazing group of people. Um, this is a modified version of my 3G video that is catered towards the Wi-Fi version. So if it looks somewhat similar, it isn't. It has the Wi-Fi steps. You know, rooting your Zoom, void your warranty. If you're not really good with technology, I do not recommend you to do this. This is something that could end up potentially breaking your Zoom. If you do not know what that means, that means it will render your Zoom useless. And then if you take it back to try to return it and they see that you tried to root it, they're not going to want to touch it. You are physically changing something in your device and you're taking full responsibility when you do this. The reason why I'm doing these videos is to provide more description for those technical viewers out there having any trouble with the text version of the instructions. Please, you are assuming all responsibility for this and use your best judgment to think that you want to take a step like this. There are a couple files that you need to be able to perform this route. Um, these files are linked um, in the description. So if you look at the XDA thread form that I've linked, you can download the files from that thread. Also, you're going to need to put those files in your Android SDK folder in platform tools, and then you'll be able to access them and um, be able to put them on your device when the steps require it. With that said, I'm going to now boot up the terminal. So when you boot up the terminal, what you want to do is you want to connect your Zoom to your computer using the USB. And once they're connected, you want to type in the terminal ADB reboot bootloader. You can see that the Zoom turned off and now it's going to restart. And then in the top left corner of the Zoom, it says starting fast boot protocol support. When those words show up, you now want to type into the terminal fast boot OEM unlock. And um, depending on the version of fast boot you have, I had to get a version that's called fast boot Mac. Make sure you put in fast boot Mac if you have that version. And then you just press enter. And now it will send the information over to your Zoom. You'll see a big warning. And this is what I was talking about in the, the beginning. You are assuming legal responsibility for your Zoom, voiding all warranties if you go any further. So if you want to go back, you still have time. But after this point, you are voiding your warranty. Please take notice. This is a very big decision that you need to make. Okay, with that said, the way that you navigate is using the two volume but buttons. Volume up is accept, and the volume down is a way to choose between cancel or accept. Now, if you were to cancel um, by pressing volume up, what basically would bring you back um, to the Motorola boot screen 
and then all you have to do is press volume up and power at the same time and that will reboot your zoom so if you need to reboot your zoom when you're in the fast boot startup mode volume up and power at the same time um, so but we're gonna not do that we're not gonna cancel so what we're gonna do is hit I accept and then again it's warning you again so we're gonna just say yes and continue on and so device unlock operation in progress and now it's formatting everything So, the device is now done, and it's rebooting. You can see on the terminal, it, uh, the process finished on reboot, and it's waiting for the next command. So what's going to happen is, um, once we finished booting up, the zoom again, we're going to enter our next command. So you can see it's like the zoom was restarted for the first time. So what we're going to do is we are going to now type in now that it's fully booted ADB reboot bootloader now I can't find the device so let's quickly unplug plug it back in let's skip out of here So, yeah, I'm going to bring it to the home. And now let's type again, ADB Reboot Bootloader. Unplug the device. Plug it back in. Oh, you know what? This is probably has to do with the fact that it was reset. We have to turn it back into bug mode. So we go to settings, applications, development, allow USB debugging. Okay. And see, now we have the USB debugging connected and we should be able to be all set. There we go. Sorry about that. Little Little brain freeze. So now that it uh, booted back to the bootloader, now we're going to type in. F okay, now you want to type in fastboot dash mac flash boot boot dot img. Now, if you're not in that directory where this file is located, you're going to need to type in the full path for boot dot img, or you can um, direct yourself in terminal to the platform tools folder where we put this path or put this um, .img file and um, then you can just type in what's on the screen right now. Um, and for anyone, remember this is a file that we had to personally download. I have the, the link attached into the description. Please refer to this XDA link that I have in my description. It has a wonderful amount of information on how to flash your your Zoom with the Wi-Fi version and the 3G version. And um, it will also have updates that, of course, this if new things come out, this video won't, won't have. Okay. 
Okay, so you see now that we're in the, the directory, the flash worked. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to type in fast boot reboot. Again, it's fast boot Mac. I'm sorry, everyone. I, I'm I'm so used to doing this on on my PC, and I'm doing it from my Mac. typed rebook. Fastboot slash Mac reboot dash Mac reboot. So we'll restart. Again sorry for the bumps and curves. I'm, I'm used to doing this on my PC and I did it on my Mac. So what we're gonna do is again we're gonna wait for the reboot and then we're going to type in a couple more commands. Okay, now that we're rebooted, what we want to do is we want to type in ADB remount. So you want to type in ADB push bcm4329.ko forward slash system forward slash lib forward slash modules forward slash bcm 4329.ko now we want to type in adb push cifs.ko forward slash system forward slash lib forward slash modules forward slash cifs.ko now adb push tun.ko forward slash system forward slash lib forward slash modules forward slash tun.ko now adb push scsi underscore weight underscore scan dot ko forward slash system forward slash lib forward slash modules forward slash scsi underscore weight underscore scan dot ko. We're almost there, but now we want to put in adb push su forward slash system forward slash bin. Now for some shell input adb shell ln dash s forward slash system forward slash bin forward slash su then space forward slash system forward slash xbin forward slash su now adb shell chmod 4755 forward slash system forward slash bin forward slash su now what we want to do is type in adb push Super user dot apk system forward slash app forward slash. One last push, I promise. ADB push void dot fstab forward slash system forward slash etc forward slash void dot fstab you're going to then type in adb reboot and then after that adb shell now if you were expecting any fancy fireworks bells and whistles to go off when you finish rooting your device sadly that will not happen Actually, we just successfully rooted the device. Now, there is a way to check it with an application made by one of the lovely people over the XDA developer forum. And uh, we'll take a look at that in a separate um, video just, just due to time constraints. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching. If this uh, video helped you out in any way, shape, or form, please like. Now, I'm doing daily videos. I have a blog site. Please subscribe. You can RSS feed to my blog site. And um, stay tuned. Um, every day I'm putting fresh content out. Thank you so much, everybody. You're wonderful.